It's a showdown of the Logitech Zone Wireless against the Poly Voyager Focus 2. We're gonna test the microphone, the speakers, and of course the wireless range. I put it up against the blender, of course, and give it a, our Headset Advisor score here out of 90 points, nine categories, 10 points in each category. So follow along with me here. Hey everyone, I'm David. This is the channel where we review and compare all of the latest headsets, speaker phones, and webcams for your business. So consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos just like this one. So let's get started right now. Let's take a look at the first category here on the design. So looking at the design between the Poly and the Logitech, as you can see, there's definitely a design difference between the two units here. The Logitech has this kind of gray color and you also have just a little bit of metal, but they have all this text. I'm not sure if you can see that on that camera shot or not, but there's a bunch of this sticker on the outside, which I, I don't prefer the design of that. Obviously they did it from some safety reason, but overall just the design uh, does not look as nice as the Poly in my opinion. But let's take a quick look at the Logitech here on what is uh, available on the side here. So you have the minus increase button, you have your answer end button, you have your mute microphone, you have also your USB-C port, which I do appreciate. You have your ANC button on the side, as well as your power and pairing button there. One unique thing about this headset is that you can fold it up, but I'd be curious on how reliable this folding is. Does it create a weak point here at this point? Um, not 100% sure yet, as that we have not had many returns or customer complaints as far as design goes, so to be determined on that. But one thing I dislike is the speakers. They don't rotate, and the problem with that is that some of us have different size and shape heads, so when you're wearing this headset, you can't twist the speaker housing at all, sometimes like you want to. But over than that, it has a unique design as far as the speaker housing kind of rotates all the way up. That's why you have this cable that comes out here so that this whole speaker housing can slide up and down where most of the others, they just kind of come in and out of the head down here. So this was definitely a unique approach. I'm not sure if this is gonna get caught or ripped at some point uh, by some people, but that is there as far as the design. So we gave this design a seven rating. Now looking at the Poly Voyager Focus 2, you have a shiny black uh, surface here. And then the way that they've designed this microphone boom has kind of an angle to it. So it positions properly uh, towards your mouth and it's a long enough distance that it's going to give you good pickup range to hear your voice which we're going to test later and of course do the blender test later but the the build quality of the design just feels really nice everything's very smooth feels solid you have access to your buttons minus plus and also your answer end you can mute the microphone either by pushing the button here or sliding the microphone boom to the center position. You also have your ANC switch on the side of the headset here. There's three settings, off, one position, or two position, so you can change how much active noise cancellation you have, and it works pretty well as far as the ANC goes. And then you have your power button, your micro USB port here, and that is it. So. The design on the Poly, we give a 10 rating. Just the design looks really, really nice. They did a, a fantastic job with the overall design of the headset. All right, let's take a look at the second category, which is comfort. So the Logitech, when you put it on, it's able to fit your ears easily as far as adjusting the speaker housing down to fit your ears properly, which is nice. But again, as I mentioned earlier with the design that the speakers do not rotate, so I find it um, a little bit difficult to find a proper fit for the microphone boom as I'm trying to rotate the speakers inward and get that position properly, but overly not that big of a deal. When you think about comfort, you want something 
especially for a headset like this that's designed for, you know, somebody who's on the phone a lot, maybe Zoom meetings, a lot of business calls, whatever the case may be for your work, you want a headset that's comfortable for all day use. Now, this headset <clears throat> does feel like a little bit of pressure going inward on the ears. Not, not so much that you wouldn't be able to wear it for a long period of time, but over time, uh, it does tend to, to uh, become uncomfortable at some point just because of that extra pressure that it's trying to put on your ears to create that seal for the active noise cancellation. But there's also um, this cushion that you have for the leather ear cushions, but you can feel a little bit of the housing underneath uh, the, the leather speakers. So that is another, um, you know, downside to the comfort, but it does have leather ear cushions rather than foam, which I find a lot more comfortable. So the overall rating is seven. Now the poly does have this design for the leather headband here that's a bit stretchy. So you're not feeling the weight of the metal headband at the top of your head as you're, you're just feeling the weight of the leather cushion instead. So when you put this headset on, it feels, even though this weighs 6.17 ounce and the Logitech weighs slightly more at 6.38, the poly just feels a lot lighter and it does not feel like it's putting pressure on your ears. And I also can't feel the plastic housing underneath the leather ear cushion. So we gave this a 10 rating and I've used it for many days and I have not found a day where I have to take it off because it's uncomfortable. So uh, the Poly I find extremely comfortable, especially again for a headset that's wireless and that's gonna block out a lot of that background noise around you. All right, so let's take a look at the category ease of use. Now I'm gonna put up on the screen the technical specs so you can see exactly how these headsets compare side by side. You can pause it if you want, I just don't wanna bore you with all these details. But very quickly, these are both Bluetooth wireless headsets that connect to your computer and your mobile phones. And right out of the box, both these headsets have USB dongles that are prepared. So all you have to do right when you get the headset, plug that USB dongle into the computer, turn on the headset, and you're good to go. There's not much else you have to do in order to get it to work. Now, there is software for both of these headsets if you want to do a couple of things. One, if you have something like Microsoft Teams, if you have Ring Central, Zoom, anything like that, you're gonna need to download the software in order to get a feature called remote answering. Basically what happens is your phone, phone rings on your computer, your headset will notify you that a phone call is coming in. You can press the button on the side of the headset, answer the call, have your conversation, click it again, hang up the call. This allows you to be a lot more efficient and not tied to your desk. So it's a feature that I really, really like, but you have to have the software. And that's where the little bit of complexity comes in. But I deal with these every day and I find it extremely easy. So I give the overall rating uh, for both these headsets, nine as far as ease of use. There's not much connectivity issues. There's not a whole bunch of buttons that you don't know what to do with. So it's extremely easy to get these set up, get them working and get them using. So they got a rating of nine. All right, now let's talk about the battery. The battery is rated on the Poly for 19 hours of talk time. That's with ANC feature off and then you have 40 hours of music. So if you just wanna rock out to your favorite music, you have 40 hours of listening time. So that gives you a lot of flexibility if you're taking these headsets with you on the go, if you're traveling for work, that type of thing, you're gonna have a battery that really, really lasts. So that's good. Now the Logitech Zone Wireless has 15 hours of talk time and 16 hours of music time. So that's still really, really good as Headsets in the past are five, six, eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours would be, you know, like on the high end of wireless headsets traditionally. So both these headsets exceed that uh, range, which is good. So Poly just has a little bit better, better, especially for this headset class. So Logitech gets a nine on battery and Poly gets a 10.
All right, the next category is price. Now, both of these headsets are same as far as functionality. They're Bluetooth, connects to your computer, your mobile phones, and they have active noise cancellation, so they'll allow you to focus in on your calls. But the price is substantial, so the Logitech is $209.99 and the Poly is $299.99. So that gives a rating of nine and eight respectively. For their class, Logitech is pretty much uh, the lowest you're gonna be able to go as far as a headset that has these type of features. But you gotta ask yourself the question, is it worth saving the money for the Logitech or should you pay just a little bit more and go with the Poly? And that's totally gonna depend upon your specific situation. For example, Poly is certified with Ring Central. So if you have Ring Central phone system, Logitech, if you get a phone call, you can't push a button on your headset to answer and end the call where Poly you can. Maybe that's a deal breaker for you. Maybe what I talked about earlier as far as comfort and design are factors that you'd pay a little bit more to have a little bit more. And then later in this video, we're gonna talk about the performance. We're gonna test the speakers, microphone, and the wireless range. And maybe that'll be the deal for you. So keep that in mind as you're trying to make your decision. And I'll put a link to both of these in the video description below. But again, Logitech gets a nine and Poly gets an eight. All right, now durability is the next category. And what I've rated on Poly, if you haven't seen my in-depth review, is this is a nine durability rating, just because I'm the one in the office that likes to break all the headsets to test really how durable they are. I'll pull on them, I'll, I'll twist these things, and I typically end up breaking most of them. But Poly uh, is very solid, it's very well built. Obviously they're, um, kind of best in the industry or largest in the industry for a reason, kind of like Apple is in the, the smartphone industry. It's just they're good at what they do. And you can tell with the design quality of this Voyager Focus 2, they did a really good job. So we gave it a level nine rating on the durability for the Poly. Uh, that may be upgraded to a 10 depending upon customer feedback. It's just so new that there's not enough data for us to determine whether or not it's a, a very durable headset. So stay tuned on that. Now the Logitech feels very solid as well. They built a great product. You can tell that, you know, a, a lot of it is reinforced. There's not certain joints where the speaker touches the housing that is going to be weak, which is a lot of times a weak point on headsets. So the only couple concerns I have is that this um, kind of breaks down like this. Does that create an extra weak point? here on the headset and then also you have this cable is that going to cause a problem kind of long term down the road so other than that it's very solid very durable and it gets an eight rating on durability all right so what we're going to do now is we have the microphone pointed right here i'm going to play audio out of each headset put it up to the microphone so that you can hear how the audio quality sounds coming out of these speakers. And then I also have the decibel reader here so that you can see how much decibel is coming out of the speakers so that you can compare which one's kind of louder, not only the volume of uh, audio, but also the quality of audio is what you can hear. So I'll put a link also in the video description below of the music that we use. So if you wanna listen to the original source on what that sounds like, you can check it out there. So let's get started. So overall, the speakers between the two, there was a clear winner to me as far as Poly sounded better, and it gets a speaker quality of 10, where Logitech gets a speaker quality of eight. It was just lacking a little bit of the tone and the bass that I preferred on the Poly. So I'd say not a huge improvement, but I would say definitely more preferable for me on the Poly. 
All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna test the microphones out so you can see what it sounds like for yourself. Now, before we do that, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And remember, if you are interested in either of these models, make sure you use coupon code YouTube, all one word. That's gonna score you the best discount possible on these headsets, and I'll put a link in the video description below. All right, so how it's gonna work is we're gonna test uh, Poly first, and then Logitech next, back to back without background noise, and then work our way through more and more background tests so that you can hear the sound quality difference side by side. All right, so my voice is coming through the camera microphone right now, just so you can get an idea of what it sounds like without the headset. Now it's gonna switch to the headset here. So this is what it sounds like on the Poly Voyager Focus 2 with no background noise going on, just the microphone alone. So this is what it's gonna sound like. You really wanna look for is clear audio. You don't wanna hear any chopping, any buzzing, anything like that. Sometimes with Bluetooth headsets, you get a little bit of um, you know choppy or clipping type sound. So you just want a reliable, consistent, good sounding audio. All right, so this is the Logitech Zone wireless with no background noise. This is what it sounds like testing one, two, three. You wanna be able to hear my voice loud and clear, no distortion, um, and just good quality in general. So this is what it sounds like with no background noise. All right, now this is the Poly Voyager Focus 2 with office ambient noise. We're gonna to switch to the camera microphone so you can hear what it sounds like without any noise cancellation. Now we're gonna go back to the Voyager Focus 2 here. And it's with the same noise going on in the background and I'll be quiet so you can see how much decibels is out here. All right, so it's about 72 to 75 decibels with that office type noises. You have talking, uh, typing, that type of thing in the background. So we'll see how well this microphone performs. All right, this is what it sounds like going through the camera microphone right now. Now it's going to the Logitech Zone wireless headset with that office ambient noise going on in the background. That's office chatter, microwaves, typing, those type of noises. And I'm going to be quiet so you can see the decibel reader here. It's about 75 max decibels here with this, and we're seeing how well this microphone performs. You want to be able to hear my voice loud and clear and not all that distracting noises. All right, now this is what it sounds like with the blender on in the background, and I'll switch the camera mic, and then we'll switch back to the Poly Voyager Focus 2 here. This is what it sounds like, and I'll be quiet so you can see the decibel reading. So it's about 80 decibels right here next to me, about two feet away from me. This is how much noise the Poly Voyager Focus 2 cancels. This is what it sounds like coming through the camera mic with the blender on in the background. Now this is what it sounds like going with the Logitech Zone wireless and the blender going on. Let's see how loud it is. It's just under 80 decibels and it's like two feet away from the microphone here on my right side of my mouth. So this is what it's gonna sound like. Obviously this is a very extreme example of noise. You shouldn't be blending margaritas while you're on a business call, but hey, you're probably working from home, so what does it matter anyway? So uh, this is what it sounds like with the noise canceling microphone on the Logitech. All right, we're outside here with the Poly Voyager Focus 2. This is what it's gonna sound like if you're somebody that's on the go, traveling, that type of thing. We have cars behind us, it's a little bit windy. Um, there's also cars going on down the road there. So this is what you can expect the Poly Voyager Focus 2 to sound like. You should be able to hear my voice clearly without a bunch of um, you know, wind noise and car noise, that type of thing, as you want to be able to hear my voice loud and clear and try to sound as professional as possible. All right, we're outside our building here and give you an idea of what the Logitech Zone Wireless sounds like outside if you're on the road, on the go. There's also cars that uh, are coming by back and forth behind me as well as down the street here. So you can see if it picks up any of that background noise and it is a little bit of a windy day. So this is what you can expect the Logitech Zone Wireless to sound like in this environment. All right, so what did you think sounded better? Was the Logitech or the Poly better in your opinion? Put your thoughts in the comment section below. Would love to hear what you think about as this is always a personal preference as far as microphone quality. 
So uh, I had to listen back and forth uh, between these headsets quite a few times to formulate my opinion. But overall, I felt the Logitech lacked uh, noise cancellation uh, compared to the poly and I also felt the poly sounded better a uh, richer crisper sound to me so the Logitech got a six microphone quality rating and the Voyager Focus 2 got a level seven rating all right we're going to test the wireless range here on the poly Voyager Focus 2 so I have some music playing in my headset so I know when the audio is going to start cutting out so Jeff grab the camera Follow me out the door here. You get to see a sneak peek behind the scenes of the studio here, and of course in the office. All right, so let's head out this way. All right, so the computer's just right over here, about 10 feet away, so let's keep on going. We're at about 20 feet. Let's keep it going. Now we're at about 30 feet, and I'm still hearing the music loud and clear. Let's keep going. It's a bit of a windy day today, so this is about 30 feet. Keep coming. All right, we're about 50 feet direct line of sight to the computer. I'm still hearing the music loud and clear, so let's keep going. All right, so the music is now starting to cut out, so we have reached the max range, which is about 60 feet direct line of sight to the computer. All right, so what we're gonna do now is a wireless range test on the Logitech Zone Wireless, so Jeff, Grab the camera, pack your bags, and let's go. You're going to be able to see behind the scenes of our studio here. It's always interesting. There's Rose. Say hi, Rose. <laughs> All right. So the computer is located right here. It's about 10 feet at this current point. So let's see if we can go much further. hearing a little bit of audio clipping but you should still be able to hear my voice clearly let's see if we can go much further all right we're at about 30 feet right now and just so you know i have music playing through my ears so you should be able to hear my voice because i can hear the audio coming from the computer so let's see if we can go a little bit further Um, starting to cut out pretty much um, and you'll be able to tell with the audio here but let's keep going see if we can push it to its limits all right it is now officially unusable so I'd say we made it to about 30 to 40 feet of wireless range on the Logitech zone all right Bluetooth wireless range is always lacking and a bit of a disappointment for me personally like at my home office uh, my coffee pot is literally right on the edge of the Bluetooth range for uh, the Logitech Zone Wireless. So if I want to keep a call or even if I'm listening to music and go get coffee, it's going to start getting interrupted and uh, I'm not going to be able to get my cup of coffee or I'm going to sacrifice my phone call for a minute. So that's always a bummer. Uh, Bluetooth in general just isn't very good for wireless range typically, but the improvements to Poly in the USB dongle, the BT700 USB dongle, and their Bluetooth uh, technology did help improve the wireless range, which I was impressed with and, and like that extra bit of range. It's going to allow you to go even further, and I uh, foresee in the future that it's just going to get better and better as time goes on. But overall rating is a 5 on the Logitech and seven on the poly for the bluetooth headsets that i've tested poly is the furthest one so far as far as a headset of this class so you've got to get into decked wireless headsets if you want to get up to that 10 category rating 
All right, now that you have all of the information and heard all of the performance of both these headsets, the question is, is it worth the extra money for the Poly or um, would you rather just save the money for the Logitech considering it's approximately about $80 less? Now that just totally depends. The overall headset advisor score we gave Logitech was 68 and the Poly was 80 and this is out of a total score of 90 possible points. Poly Voyager Focus 2 is very impressive, very happy with uh, the performance of it. Logitech was lacking in a couple of areas, but the price point is very compelling. So you sacrifice a little bit of the performance and comfort, but you save a significant amount of money, especially if you're trying to deploy a lot of these. But that just depends on your personal circumstance. If you want to find out more if this headset or this headset is better for your situation or not, reach out to us. We'll put our contact information on the screen. Uh, that's what we do all day long. We love helping people out, make sure they get the right products for their specific situation. We love to help you out too. So reach out to us or put it in the comment section below. That'll work too. Other than that, it's going to be up to you. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future videos like this. Also, there's this video that I'm gonna put right here against the Voyager Focus 1 versus Voyager Focus 2. So you can see the differences between those two headsets. I think you'll really enjoy it, so check it out. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time.